Let's say there are two people who love each other. If one person is thinking of a certain thought, the other person is also thinking of the same thought. Certain cohesiveness can easily happen with life. So, there is synchronicity with life, otherwise life would not exist. My question is this, um, in my friend circles, um, there are a lot of us experiencing what we're, what we've coined, um, you know, synchronicities or uh, God's winks or, because uh, I know that there are no, co I don't believe in coincidence, I believe in confirmation. Um, but a lot of us are seeing like repeating numbers uh, 222, 1111, 333, 444, 1010, 1212, you know, at many, it's not just me, it's like a whole community of people um, that I know are all like greatly aware of this secret, I guess, phenomenon um, amongst us. And it's, it's beyond just the numbers, you know, it's certain sightings and, and visits or, you know, it's just kind of magical, it's a magical time. But what would you say, what would you attribute this experience to? Because I know so many people that are having this experience right now. See, uh, numbers and number systems are, have been invented by human beings, all right? Uh, we, we made up the numbers. Because we have uh, ten fingers, we made ten an important number. And you know the zero came from India, you know that. <laughs> the zero was invented in India and the number system evolved out of that. In India we say, we see that zero is the only true number because that always exists. Rest we made up. One, two, three, four made up by us. Zero has always been there. In, it's the natural existence, there is a zero. There are many, many things which are zero, but one, two, three, four, we make it up. How far can we count? <laughs> it depends, you know. Uh, a child will think uh, ten means it's like a big number in a child's mind. Well, now you can say a million or a billion, now these days everybody is saying a zillion. I don't think most people understand what's a zillion, but keep… people keep using it. So about coincidence of numbers, one aspect, I'll just cover it in two different ways. One aspect is there are only nine digits. So repetition is very obvious because there are, you know, seven billion people and there are only nine digits. How many times will it repeat itself? Naturally, it will repeat itself many, many times. But at the same time, if there are two people close to each other, let's say there are two people who love each other, now it may so happen at a given moment, if one person is thinking of a certain thought, the other person is also thinking of the same thought. See, one person is uh, picking a number which is three, the other person is also picking number three because certain cohesiveness can easily happen with life. Not only with human beings, it can even happen with other creatures, it can happen with trees, it can happen with uh, other animals. Among trees and animals also, this is very much there, much more than human beings. It is very little among human beings because there is too much of intellectual thought in the human being. In the other animals, there is not so much thought, so their synchronicity is way better than that of human beings because they experience life chemically or by smell. So because of that, there is a much more cohesive synchronicity among other creatures. For example, if a group of wild elephants come and start grazing on a particular species of trees, Within twenty minutes, all the other trees in that region belonging to that species, their leaf will go bitter and they'll turn mildly poisonous. Because they've communicated, we are being eaten up, you do something, they will all turn bitter. The elephants know about it, so because the elephants know about it, they will graze quickly in one place and then they will not even bother to graze the next tree and the next tree because they know they would have turned bitter and they will go far away and again start eating. So, even among trees, there is such synchronicity, if human beings hit a pitch among themselves, 
good for them, but don't give too much significance to it because then you will start imagining a whole lot of things which are unnecessary. But is there synchronicity um, uh, with life? Of course, otherwise so many things wouldn't happen. There are lots of studies which clearly show this and in the yogic system we call this samskriti. What samskriti means is, there is something called as, uh, you know, learning because of the atmosphere. You're not being actually taught anything. Just because a certain family has certain skills, even the children born in that family, just almost like they're born with those skills, they just adapt. It is just in the air somewhere, the skill. They just pick it up. They have… they have made studies of various uh, people and uh, animals, mice, they have noticed that this is possible, that learning can just happen out of contact. So, there is synchronicity with life, otherwise life would not exist. But uh, it should not be overdone in our minds, that's all. <laughs>